throughout the internet. I've seen no plane like this. I don't know how many of you have seen this guy because he's the most chill creative engineer who literally envisions going to space with this. Hold on now. His name is Freddy and he's from Kenya. And of course, he's an engineer who never finished high school. I mean, Freddy is the goat because there's no plane that comes close to this. And the funny thing about this Boeing is that it's also a helicopter. So it's a helicopter Boeing. And that's why you hear me saying that I've never seen any kind of plane that is of this caliber. A Boeing that is a helicopter at the same time. Oh, hold on now. Now let's go ahead and look at our hybrid here that was conceived by a helicopter and a Boeing. Now our baby here or our hybrid here has small propellers, not forgetting that they are made of firewood. Firewood, literally. Anyway, I'm just hoping that this won't backfire on us because I've never seen a plane using firewood. This is just a sorry ass performance. But it also kind of looks like a rat if you look at it from my point of view. Are you serious? Its shape is really out of reality. It's something out of fiction. And it's funny because this hybrid was actually conceived in Kenya. Uh, by a person who never studied anything that has to do with engineering and physics and all that. The problem is that if he flies, he'll be caught. Because first of all, this thing looks nothing like a plane. And even if it's a hybrid, it also looks nothing of, of an hybrid because we've seen dog hybrids and chicken hybrids, cow hybrids. They always look something close, like they are parents. <laughs> because this mutated plane looks like it had some kind of uh, disability or something it's like it wasn't born right yeah because this mutation is something that has never been seen ever in the history of plane making at this point it looks like a mutated rat because if this plane was a person it would suffer like some kind of emotional breakdown because it would be bullied so bad by its peers because of its appearance I'm afraid you should have tried to make it look a bit better. We've seen so many planes in Africa that have some sort of idea behind them. And because at this point, Freddy, I'm disappointed at you, man. But it's still cool though, because you did manage to build something that has propellers in it. Because yeah, I can definitely give him some credit for that. And let's talk about the engine. What type of engine is this? Is it a power saw? And the funny thing about this plane is that it has two engines. One engine for the rotor blades and the other one for the tires. And I guess this is because Freddy knew that this thing was going nowhere. This is what happens when you didn't play as a child. You start playing as an adult. I mean, this is something that will be built by someone who dropped out of primary school. Because we always hear that, you know, these billionaires, uh, like uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, they all dropped out of college. But basically, I think that Freddie heard of this and thought, yeah, I, I'll drop out of school. But the thing is, he dropped out of primary school, not even high school. Uh, there are people who have already gotten their tickets. We are just about to leave. Uh... We are waiting for the travelers. But no, trust me, he is not cooking. He should build the propeller to be a bit longer and curve downwards a bit and to make the tail straight and add a router. Because I've never seen a mutated hybrid of a plane that has such a small tail. It's like the tail and the propellers are almost making love. Marry me. So how is this plane ever going to be stable if it ever flies? <laughs> But he legit has a screw loose. So first of all, I don't know the engineering behind this Freddy. I think you need to explain it to us. He's obviously one of the special kinds of people in Africa, you know, because he has the confidence to build something. So people give him money to encourage him to build something better. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. 
I guess Fred is going to America. Okay, so how is he going to reach America? Is there like a road to America or I mean there there are passengers that are very ready to fly. And I don't know where Freddy got this idea, but I want to smoke what he's smoking because converting a tuk tuk to a helicopter that's a Boeing at the same time. I mean, that's genius, man. That's genius. I don't feel bad for saying this, but you've clearly avoided all the loss of physics because you picked up some metals, fixed them together. And expected them to fly. I've never seen a plane with said mirrors. Come on, Freddy, tell us what you were thinking. Is there traffic in the air? <laughs> well, after some further research, it seems like here in Africa we have a highway for planes. That's why the said mirrors are very, very crucial for this mission. So forgive me, I was wrong. Kudos to you. Because even though it has side mirrors, it also looks like a fan that is upside down. <laughs> this might be the first aircraft to cause congestion on the road. Now let's go to the cockpit, because this is Freddy's domain. So this plane is yet to fly, because the software isn't finished uploading yet. So it's using a very advanced technology that will probably be finished maybe after 10 to 20 years or so. I bet my house that this thing won't fly, even with the help of dark forces. And this cockpit is very advanced. It's not a normal kind of cockpit. So everything here is being monitored in these screens. So I'd say that this is a very sophisticated plane. So it needs to be fueled right in front of the screens so that the screens can also monitor everything that is going on in this plane. This interior is made out of cotton boxes and newspapers. So you'd make no mistake of lighting a cigarette around this thing. So you should be really careful when you're boarding this plane. I don't know why you'd be flying but in case you board this plane, please don't light a cigarette for your own safety. And also don't switch on your phone, you know because you never know what might happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is flight AQ247. So fasten your seatbelts. We are about to take off in five minutes. Now that this was successful, he ought to get into rockets. We need him. Africa needs him.